Nokia is a Finnish multinational corporation founded on the 12th of May 1865 as a single paper mill operation. Through the 19th century, the company expanded, branching into several different products. In 1967, the Nokia Corporation was formed. In the late 20th century, the company took advantage of the increasing popularity of computer and mobile phones. However, increased competition and other market forces caused changes in Nokia's business arrangements. In 2014, Nokia's mobile phone business was sold to Microsoft. Contents 1 19th century 2 20th century 3 Nokia Corporation 3.1 Network Equipment 3.2 Mobile Radio Telephony 3.3 Nokia Mobile Telephone 3.4 Global System for Mobile Communications 3.5 Personal Computers 3.6 Telecommunications 4 21st Century 4.1 Symbian OS 4.2 Linux devices, 4.3 reorganizations, 4.4 acquisitions, 4.5 loss of smartphone market share, 4.6 partnership with Microsoft, 4.7 Sale of mobile phone business to Microsoft 4.8 Sale of licenses 4.9 Alcatel Lucent 4.10 Foxconn and HMD Global 5 References Nineteenth Century, Frederick Idestum, co-founder of Nokia. Leo Meshelin, co-founder of Nokia.
The name Nokia is derived from the town Nokia and the Nokian Verda River which was aside the factory. The commercial entities that preceded the modern-day Nokia company included Nokia A flat Suomen Gamut HDA Zoi and Suomen Kapalit HDA Zoi. In 1865, the mining engineer, Frederick Idestum, established a ground wood pulp mill on the banks of the Tamarkoski Rapids in the town of Tampariet in southwestern Finland. Tampere was then part of the Russian Empire. In 1868, Idestum built a second mill near the town of Nokia. Nokia lies 15 kilometers west of Tampere by the Nokia Inverter River. The river had better hydropower resources than those at Tampere. In 1871, Idestum and Leo Mushlin, a statesman and Idestum's friend, transformed Idestum's enterprises into a public limited company called Nokia Flat. In the late 1800s, Mechelen wanted to expand the company into the electricity business. However, Idestum refused. In 1896, Idestum retired and Mechelen became the company's chairman. He remained chairman from 1898 to 1914. During this time, Mechelen persuaded shareholders to allow the company to enter the electricity business. In 1902, Nokia commenced electricity generation. Twentieth Century Main Article Eduard Polin Portrait of Eduard Polin by Eero Jarnfeld Eduard Polin was a Finnish business leader in eighteen ninety eight. Poland founded Suomen Gamut HDA Zoi, a manufacturer of galoshes and other rubber products, in the early 1900s.
The Finnish rubber works established factories near Nokia and used the town's name in the company's branding. After World War I, the Nokia company was nearing bankruptcy and was acquired by the Finnish Rubber Works. In 1932, the Finnish Rubber Works also acquired the Suomen Kapellit HDA Zoi. The Cable Works had been founded in 1912 by Arvid Wickstrom. His company produced telephone, telegraph and electrical cables. In 1963, after 16 years as a technical director, Werner Weckman became the president of the Finnish Cable Works Company. Weckman was a wrestler and was Finland's first Olympic gold medalist. After World War II, Finnish Cable Works supplied cables to the Soviet Union as part of its war reparations. This gave the company a foothold for later trade. Nokia Corporation, a capacitor made by Nokia capacitors. In 1967, Nokia Corporation was formed through the merger of the three companies. The new company manufactured products including paper items, car and bicycle tires, rubber boots, communications cables, televisions and other consumer electronics, personal computers, generators, robotics, capacitors. Military technology and equipment, plastics, aluminum and chemicals. In 1960, a cable division of the Nokia Group had been formed. In 1962, it produced a pulse height analyzer used in nuclear power plants. In 1967, an e electronics division within the Nokia Corporation was formed. It operated for the next 15 years, sometimes at a loss. Nokia researchers were encouraged to develop their own projects. This may have contributed to Nokia's focus on mobile phone technologies.
Networking equipment. In the 1970s, Nokia produced the Nokia DX200, a digital switch for telephone exchanges. The DX200 became the workhorse of the network equipment division. Its architecture allowed it to be further developed into other switching products. For example, in 1984, the development of an exchange for the Nordic Mobile Telephony Network was begun. The network equipment division was merged with a Finnish state entity to form Telefeno. In 1987, the state sold its shares in Telefeno to Nokia and in 1992, the name was changed to Nokia Telecommunications. In 1998 the Israeli multinational company, Checkpoint which was founded in 1993, established a partnership with Nokia. Checkpoint's software was bundled with Nokia's network security tools. Mobile Radio Telephony Prior to Cellular Mobile Telephony, there was Mobile Radio Telephony. In the 1960s, Nokia had started producing commercial and military mobile radio telephones. From 1964, Nokia had developed VHF radios in collaboration with Solaroy. From 1966, Nokia and Solora had developed ARPS. In 1971, this technology became the first commercially available mobile phone network in Finland and in 1978, it offered 100% coverage in Finland. In the 1970s and 1980s, Nokia developed the Sonomalita Jaria Stelma, a digital portable and encrypted text-based communications device for the Finnish Defense Forces. Nokia Mobile Telephone, the Mobira City Man 150, Nokia's NMT 900 mobile phone from 1989, compared to the Nokia 1100, a GSM phone from 2003. In 1979, Nokia and Solora established a joint venture, Mobiroi. Mobira developed mobile phones for the Nordic Mobile Telephone Network. 
called the 1G and was the first fully automatic cellular phone system. It became commercially available in 1981. In 1982, Mobira introduced its first car phone, the Mobira Senator, for NMT 450 networks. In 1984, Nokia purchased Solora. Nokia's telecommunications division was renamed Nokia Mobiroi. In the same year, the Mobira Talkman, an early portable phone, was launched. In 1987, Nokia introduced its first mobile phone, the Mobira Cityman 900 for NMT 900 networks. In comparison to the NMT 450 network, there was a better signal strength but less coverage. While the Mobira Senator of 1982 had weighed 9.8 kilograms and the Talkman just under 5 kilograms, the Mobira Cityman weighed only 800 grams including its battery. The phone, which was considered expensive, became an item indicating a high status. In 1987, the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev was seen using a Mobira city man in Helsinki. The phone developed the nickname, the Gorba. In 1989, Nokia Mobiroi was renamed Nokia Mobile Phones. Global System for Mobile Communications Nokia contributed to the development of the GSM-2G. It was able to carry data as well as voice traffic. Nordic Mobile Telephony was an early provider of international roaming. In 1987, GSM-2G became the new European standard for digital mobile technology. In 1989, Nokia delivered its first GSM network to the Finnish operator Radio Linja. On the 1st of July 1991, in Helsinki, the first telephone call on the GSM G2 network was made by Harry Holkeri. The Prime Minister of Finland He used a prototype Nokia GSM phone to make the call.
In 1992, the first GSM phone, the Nokia 1011, was made commercially available. The model number 1011 refers to its launch date on the 10th of November 1992. In 1994, a branding ringtone, the Nokia Tune, was included with the Nokia 2100 series. The GSM 2G network and mobile phones provided improved voice calls, international roaming and support for new services such as text messaging. In 2008, the GSM 2G network had approximately 3 billion users. There were at least 700 mobile phone commercial providers in 218 nations or territories. There were 15 mobile phone connections per second and 1.3 million mobile phone connections per day. Personal Computers The Nokia Booklet 3G Mini Laptop In the 1980s, Nokia's computer division, Nokia Data, produced a series of personal computers called the Micromico. It was aimed at the business market. Micromico 1 was released on the 29th of September 1981. Its competitor was the IBM Personal Computer. In 1991, Nokia Data was sold to a British company, International Computers Limited. Nokia produced cathode ray tubes and thin film transistor liquid crystal displays for personal computers and other applications. In 2000, Nokia sold its display products division to ViewCynic. However, in August 2009, Nokia released the Nokia Booklet 3G Mini Laptop which it continued for a short time. Other abandoned Nokia products include DSL, modems and digital set-top boxes. Telecommunications In the 1980s under the Chief Executive Officer Kerry Kairamo, Nokia expanded, mostly through acquisitions. 
In the late 1980s and early 1990s, however, Nokia Corporation experienced financial difficulties. Losses were made in the television manufacturing division. In 1988 Nokian Tires became a separate entity. Nokia's paper division was sold in 1989. In 1990 Nokian Footwear was a separate entity. During the rest of the 1990s, Nokia divested itself of all other businesses. In 1988, Kairamo committed suicide. Following his death, Simo Vuorilato became Nokia's chairman and CEO. From 1990 to 1993, Finland was in recession. Vuori Leto made major changes to the Nokia Corporation. The telecommunications division was streamlined. The television and personal computing divisions were sold. In 1992, Jorma Olala became CEO. He made telecommunications Nokia's sole concern. International sales increased relative to those in Finland by the mid-1990s. Nokia's supply of mobile telephones could not meet demand. Changes to Nokia's supply chain were made. Between 1996 and 2001, Nokia's revenue increased from 6.5 billion euros to 31 billion euros and between 1998 and 2012. Nokia was the world's largest mobile phone manufacturer. Nokia's logistics and economies of scale advantage to the company. Twenty first century reduction in size of Nokia mobile phones. Left to right Nokia six hundred thirty eight Nokia two thousand one hundred sixty FR Nokia five thousand one hundred sixty Nokia six thousand seventy. In 2000, Nokia launched the Nokia 3310. In 2003, the Nokia 1100 handset was launched. Nokia combined a video game console and a mobile phone in the N-Gage. In April 2008, Nokia Productions started a mobile movie-making project.
The movie which was presented at the Nokia Theater Los Angeles on the 14th of October 2008 was directed by Spike Lee. It was approximately 15 minutes long and comprised short segments made on phones contributed by the public. The theme of the movie was humanity. In 2009, Nokia re-entered the personal computing market. Its product, the Nokia Booklet 3G, was a Windows-based netbook. The company also entered the smartphone market. The Series 40 was a phone platform used in feature phones, mainly running Java-based applications. Nokia acquired Smarterphone, a company making the Smarterphone OS for low-end phones and merged it with Series 40 to form the Asha platform, which also used some user interface characteristics from Nokia's Mega platform. The Asha 501 used this new operating system. The Series 40 was discontinued in late 2014. Symbian OS. Until 2011, Symbian was Nokia's main smartphone operating system. The devices using the Symbian operating system include the Nokia 7650, Nokia Engage, Nokia N96, Nokia 6600, Nokia 7610, Nokia 6630, Nokia N90, Nokia N95, Nokia N82, Nokia E71, Nokia 5800 Express Music, Nokia N97, Nokia X6 and the Nokia N8. The 2012 Nokia 808 Pure View had a 41 megapixel camera. It was the last phone using the Symbian platform. Nokia 6600 with a VGA camera, Bluetooth and expandable memory. Nokia N73 with 3G and a front camera. Nokia N95 with a 5 megapixel camera and sliding multimedia keys. Nokia E71 with a QWERTY keyboard. Nokia 5800 Express Music with a full touch screen. Nokia N8, the first Symbian Cube device and the first to feature a 12 megapixel autofocus lens.
Nokia 808 Pure View with a 41 megapixel camera and a 1.3 gigahertz CPU. Linux devices. Nokia's first Linux devices were the Nokia Internet tablets and the Nokia N900, which ran the Debian based MAMO. The MAMO project merged with Intel's Moblin to create MIGO. The Nokia N9 was released before Mego was abandoned in favor of Windows Phone. The final products using Linux were the Nokia X series which had an Android operating system. Reorganizations on the 5th of May 2000, Nokia opened a mobile phone factory in Kumrom, Hungary. In April 2003, difficulties in Nokia's division of network equipment led to restructuring and layoffs. Nokia's public image in Finland was diminished. Litigation was brought against Nokia and a critical documentary television program was broadcast. In June 2006, CEO of Nokia Jorma Olila resigned and became the chairman of Royal Dutch Shell. Oli Pekka Kalisvo was the new CEO. In March 2007, Nokia signed an agreement with Cluj County Council, Romania to open a plant near the city in Jusu Commune, moving the production from the Bochum. Germany factory to a low-wage country created an uproar in Germany. In 2008, Nokia ceased its mobile phone distribution in Japan. In 2009, Checkpoint purchased Nokia's network security division. In February 2012, Nokia announced that 4,000 employees would be dismissed. This was to allow its manufacturing centers to move from Europe and Mexico to Asia. In March 2012, Nokia dismissed 1,000 employees at its Salo, Finland factory. In June 2012, Research facilities in Ulm, Germany and Burnaby, Canada closed. By the end of 2013, 10,000 employees had been dismissed. In January 2013, Nokia dismissed 1,000 employees from its Internet Technology, Production and Logistics Divisions.
Acquisitions For a more comprehensive list see List of Acquisitions by Nokia. On the 22nd of September 2003, Nokia acquired Sega.com, a branch of Sega in order to develop the N-Gage device. On the 10th of February 2006, Nokia purchased the IntelliSync Corporation. A provider of data and personal information management synchronization software. On the 19th of June 2006, Nokia and Siemens AG announced the merger of their mobile and fixed line phone network equipment businesses with equal holdings. This created the entity Nokia Siemens Networks, located in Espoo, Finland. Approximately 20,000 Nokia employees were employed by the new company. On the 8th of August 2006, Nokia purchased the online music distributor Loud Eye Corporation for approximately 60 million United States dollars. In July 2007, Nokia purchased the media sharing service Twango. In September 2007, Nokia purchased N-Pocket, a supplier of mobile advertising technology and services. On the 10th of July 2008, Nokia purchased Navtech, a U.S.-based supplier of digital mapping data, for $8.1 billion. In September 2008, Nokia purchased Oz Communications of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oz was a private company with approximately 220 employees. On the 5th of August 2009, Nokia purchased some of the assets belonging to Celity, a privately owned mobile software company. In September 2009, Nokia purchased some of the assets belonging to Plum Ventures Corporation to complement Nokia's social location services. In March 2010, Nokia purchased Navara, a mobile web browser firm. In April 2010, Nokia acquired Metacarta, a local search technology firm. In 2012, Nokia purchased Smarter Phone, a feature phone operating system developer, and the imaging company Scalato. Loss of smartphone market share Apple's iPhone did not immediately outsell the Nokia smartphones such as the Nokia N95. At the end of the 2007 financial year, 
Symbian had 62.5% of the market share while Microsoft's Windows Mobile had 11.9% and BlackBerry had 10.9% however, at the end of the 2008 financial year. Nokia's market share had fallen to 40.8%, the Nokia N96, the Nokia 5800 Express Music and the Nokia E71 did not compete against Apple's iPhone 3G. On the 24th of June 2008, Nokia bought the Symbian operating system and in 2009 made it open source. In early 2009, Nokia released several devices such as the Nokia N97. A touchscreen device with a landscape QWERTY slider keyboard that was focused on social networking which received mixed reviews and the Nokia E52 which received positive reviews. At the end of the 2008 financial year, Symbian's market share was 52.4% and at the same time in 2009, it was 46.1% with the loss going to BlackBerry, iOS and Android. In 2010, the commercial pressure on Nokia increased. Original equipment manufacturers such as Samsung Electronics and Sony Ericsson chose to make Android-based smartphones. Not Symbian-based smartphones. Nokia developed Symbian Cube to replace the S60 platform but it never became popular. At the end of the 2010 financial year, Symbian's market share was 32% while Android's was 30%. Despite losing market share, Nokia's smartphones were profitable. Sales in 2010 steadily increased quarter by quarter. In the last quarter of 2010, Nokia sold 4,008,000 smartphones. In February 2010, Nokia and Intel announced Migo. Migo was a merger of their Linux-based Mamo and Moblin projects. The project aimed to create one mobile operating system suitable for many types of device including tablets and smartphones. Nokia planned to use Mego on its smartphones. This was only achieved on the Nokia N9. In February 2011, Ella wrote to his employees. He said Nokia was on a burning platform. Ella said that war of ecosystems between iOS and Android was part of Nokia's commercial difficulties.
partnership with Microsoft. Market share of Symbian, Windows Mobile and Windows Phone 7 among U.S. smartphone owners from Q1 2011 to Q2 2012 according to Nielsen Company. In February 2011, Stephen Ellip and Microsoft's CEO Steve Ballmer formed a business partnership. Nokia adopted Windows Phone as the operating system on its smartphones and accessed the Bing search engine for its devices. The year Nokia Maps software was integrated into Microsoft's Bing mapping services. In June 2011, Apple was making more smartphones than Nokia and a successful partnership with Microsoft became imperative for Nokia's business. In September 2011, Nokia dismissed three 500 employees and closed its factory in Cluj, Romania. On the 26th of October 2011, at the Nokia World Conference, the first Nokia Windows Phone 7 based devices were launched. They were the Nokia Lumia 710 and the more expensive Nokia Lumia 800. After the launch, Nokia's share price fell approximately 14% and Nokia's smartphone sales rapidly decreased. Between 2011 until 2013, Nokia's sales of smartphones fell from first in the market to 10th. In the second quarter of the 2011 financial year, Nokia made a loss of 368 million euros. On the 26th of January 2012, Nokia reported its sales of the Lumia smartphones was well above 1 million. 2 million sales in the first quarter of the 2012 financial year and 4 million sales in the second quarter of the 2012 financial year. However, In the second quarter of the 2012 financial year, in North America, Nokia sold 600,000 Symbian and Windows phones combined. In the same period, 26 million iPhones and 105 million Android phones were sold. In August 2012, while announcing an alliance with a Groupon, Alip identified Google as a competitor. On the 8th of February 2012, Nokia dismissed 4,000 employees from smartphone manufacturing plants in Europe. Smartphone assembly was moved closer to component suppliers in Asia. On the 14th of June 2012, Nokia further 10,000 dismissals. Production and research sites in Finland, Germany and Canada were closed. On the 18th of June 2012, Moody's downgraded Nokia's bond rating to junk. On the 4th of May 2012, 
a group of Nokia investors filed a class action against the company as a result of disappointing sales. On the 22nd of August 2012, there were calls for ELOP's dismissal. In December 2012, Nokia sold its headquarters, Nokia House, for 170 million euros and then leased the property. In the fourth quarter of the 2012 financial year, Nokia sold 6.6 .6 million smartphones. In May 2013, Nokia released the Asha platform on its inexpensive smartphone devices. The American media company Vox Media speculated Nokia was not fully committed to Windows. In the same month, Nokia entered a partnership with China Mobile, the Chinese mobile service provider to make the Lumia 920 available in China. In the second quarter of the 2013 financial year, Nokia recorded an operating loss of 115 million euros. Nokia's revenue fell to 5.7 billion euros. In the same period, sales of the Lumia smartphone exceeded those of BlackBerry's handsets. Nokia's sales results were especially poor in China and the U.S. In the second quarter of the 2013 financial year, 7.4 million Lumia devices were sold. Sale of Mobile Phone Business to Microsoft On the 25th of April 2014, Nokia sold its mobile phone business to Microsoft for approximately 3.79 billion euros. 1 euro and 65 cents BN was paid by Microsoft for a 10-year license to Nokia's patents. Nokia's mobile phone assets became a part of Microsoft Mobile. Based in Finland, the purchase was delayed from March 2014 to April 2014 while a taxation dispute in India was resolved. Microsoft acquired the Asha, X and Lumia brands but had only a limited license to the Nokia brand. Microsoft could only use the Nokia brand to promote Asha, X and Lumia products until December 2015 and feature phones for 10 years. Microsoft did not acquire any rights to the Nokia tune but can use it as the default ringtone on Nokia branded devices.
Nokia was prohibited from manufacturing any Nokia-branded smartphones until December 2015. Microsoft also took over Nokia's website and social media outlets for a minimum of one. Here, Microsoft used Nokia branding until October 2014. Ella became the head of Microsoft's devices division. Risto Silasma became acting CEO of Nokia until the appointment of Rajiv Suri. Nokia continued Nokia Networks, its infrastructure division in Nokia Technologies, its development and licensing division. In July 2014, Microsoft dismissed 12,500 former Nokia employees. Microsoft also ended development of Nokia's non-Windows phone product lines. Sale of Licenses in October 2014, Nokia and China Mobile signed a $970 million framework deal for delivery between 2014 and 2015. On the 17th of November 2014, Ramsey Hydamus Head of the Nokia Technologies Division said the company planned to re-enter the consumer electronics business by licensing in-house hardware designs and technologies to third party. Manufacturers on the 18th of November 2014, the N1, an Android tablet manufactured by Foxconn, was released. Alcatel loosened. On the 3rd of November 2016, Nokia purchased the French telecommunications equipment company Alcatel Lucent for approximately 15.6 billion euros. At completion, Nokia shareholders held 66.5% of the new company and Alcatel Lucent shareholders held 33.5% of the new company. Alcatel Lucent's Bell Labs and Submarine Cables division were maintained in the new company. The Alcatel Lucent brand was no longer used. The purchase required approval by China's Ministry of Commerce and French regulators. On August 3, 2015, Nokia announced that it had reached a deal to sell its Hear Digital Maps division to a consortium of three German automakers BMW, Daimler AG and Volkswagen Group for 2.8 billion euros. Foxconn and HMD Global on the 18th of May 2016, Microsoft sold the Nokia-branded feature phone division to FIH Mobile, a division of Foxconn and HMD. A new company in Finland Nokia provided its brand and patent licensing to HMD and took a seat on the board of directors. On the 8th of January 2017, Nokia 6. 
a mid-range smartphone based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 system on chip running Android was launched. The Nokia 5, Nokia 3, Nokia 3310 and Nokia 6 Arte were also released.
References Our Story Nokia Corporation The 1st of May 2014 Helen Tapio Idestem Frederick Biographical Center of the Finnish Literature Society Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009, Martin Heikio Nokia Corporation as Official History Adita 2001 P.12 and 13. Nokian Footwear Our Story Nokian Footwear Archived from the original on the 29th of November 2014. Retrieved the 15th of November 2014. Paolo Oya, Ritva, Wilberg, Lena. Kumi, Kamen Yasuo, Men Kumi, Judin Historia. Tampere, Finland, Tampere Museums. PP 43 to 53. ISBN 9789516090651. Finnish Cable Factory Brief History Kaipalethds.fi Archived from the original on the 5th of July 2007 Retrieved the 16th of March 2009 Nokia, Werner Weckmann, Nokia's First Century, Story of Nokia Nokia Corporation, archived from the original on February 25, 2009 Retrieved the 20th of March, 2009 Nokia, The Merger, Nokia's First Century, Story of Nokia Nokia Corporation, archived from the original on February 23, 2009 Retrieved the 16th of March, 2009 Industrial Robot Made by Nokia Fabrica Roboto Retrieved the 7th of February 2015 Nokia Towards Telecommunications Nokia Corporation August 2000 Archived from the original on the 10th of July 2009. Retrieved the 5th of June 2008. Nokia, First Electronic Department, Nokia's First Century, Story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation. Archived from the original on April 1, 2009. Retrieved the 16th of March, 2009. Cord David, The Decline and Fall of Nokia. Helsinki, Schultz and Amp, Soderstrom's. P202 ISBN 9789515233202 Kateri Tommy Automated Easton Pooh Hill and Kaskasen Historia Retrieved the 21st of March 2009 
Palmberg, Christopher, Marta Kynan, Oli. Overcoming a Technological Discontinuity, The Case of the Finnish Telecom Industry and the GSM The Research Institute of the Finnish Economy Retrieved the 14th of June 2009 Nokia, the journey of a company from paper pulp to mobile phones. Retrieved the 4th of September 2013. Checkpoint Software and Nokia Expand Partnership. Business Wire, the 19th of October 1999. Retrieved the 10th of January 2013. Judelinen, Mari, Sirtiva Tide Like Han, Luenot 7 Tate, Mod Kapu Hill in Verkot. Lavian Randa University of Technology. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Pulalis Mat Kalusto Sidli, Sinamalita Jaria Stalma. The Finnish Defense Forces, the 15th of June 2005. Archived from the original on the 30th of September 2007. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia 1100 phone offers reliable and affordable mobile communications for new growth markets. Nokia Corporation the 27th of August, 2003. Archived from the original on December 6, 2008. Retrieved the 26th of May, 2009. Nokia, Mobiura City Man, the move to mobile, story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation, archived from the original on February 26, 2009. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. James Edgar. Microsoft buys Nokia, 150-year history of Finnish company with humble beginnings. The Independent, archived from the original on the 3rd of July 2018. Retrieved the 1st of June 2019. Nokia created the radio telephone company Mobiro as a joint venture with Finnish television maker Salora in 1979. Nokia, mobile era begins the move to mobile, story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation Archived from the original on February 26, 2009. Retrieved the 20th of March, 2009. Nokia's pioneering GSM research and development to be awarded by Eduard Rhine Foundation. Nokia Corporation the 17th of October 1997 Archived from the original on the 13th of June 2012
Retrieved the 7th of April 2012. Global Mobile Communication is 20 years old. GSM Association, the 6th of September 2007. Archived from the original on July 24, 2009. Retrieved the 23rd of March 2009. Happy 20th birthday, GSM. ZDNet.co.uk CBS Interactive, the 7th of September 2007. Archived from the original on the 20th of October 2008. Retrieved the 23rd of March 2009. Nokia, first GSM call, the move to mobile, story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation. Archived from the original on March 30, 2009. Retrieved the 20th of March, 2009. Smith Tony. 15 years ago, the first mass produced GSM phone. Register hardware. Situation Publishing Limited Archived from the original on the 24th of September 2012. Retrieved the 23rd of March 2009. Nokia, Nokia Tune, Mobile Revolution, Story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation. Archived from the original on April 1st, 2009. Retrieved the 23rd of March, 2009. 3 billion GSM connections on the mobile planet reports the GSMA. GSM Association, the 16th of April 2008. Archived from the original on December 26, 2008. Retrieved the 21st of March 2009. Nokia Micro Mico 1 old-computers.com Archived from the original on the 30th of April 2008 Retrieved the 14th of May 2008 Net Fujitsu Asia Kaslahedi Net Led in Historia 1980 Luku Fujitsu Services Oi, Finland, archived from the original on the 20th of July 2011. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Historia 1991 to 1999. Fujitsu Services Oi, Finland, archived from the original on October 8, 2008. Retrieved the 22nd of March, 2009. Fusenic Corporation acquires Nokia Display Products branded business. Nokia Corporation, the 17th of January 2000. Archived from the original on December 9, 2008.
Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009, Nokia Booklet 3G brings all-day mobility to the PC world. Nokia Corporation, the 24th of August 2009. Archived from the original on the 6th of January 2014. Retrieved the 14th of August 2013. Petula Antipaca. Kerry Kai Raymond New Su Ya Tu Ho Talis and Nomad Retrieved the 21st of March 2009 History and Brief Nokian Tires Archived from the original on the 12th of February 2009 Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009, Nokia, Jormaolilla, Mobile Revolution, Story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation, archived from the original on April 13, 2009. Retrieved the 21st of March 2009, Finland, How Bad Policies Turned Bad Luck Into a Recession. Center for Economic Policy Research. Retrieved the 5th of April 2009, Haikyo, Marty. Nokia OYJ and Historia 1-3 Haxton, David, Helsinki, Adida ISBN 951-373467-6 Archived from the original on the 27th of December 2007. Retrieved the 21st of March 2008. Nokia leading the world mobile revolution story of Nokia. Nokia Corporation. Archived from the original on March 23, 2009. Retrieved the 21st of March 2009. Reinhardt, Andy. Nokia's Magnificent Mobile Phone Manufacturing Machine. Business Week Online Europe, retrieved the 21st of March 2009. Professor Vooman, Thomas E. Gordon, Carlos. Nokia Mobile Phones, Supply Line Management. Lausanne, Switzerland, IMD, International Institute for Management Development. Retrieved the 21st of March 2009. Ewing, Jack, why Nokia is leaving Moto in the dust. Business Week Online. Archived from the original on the 16th of April 2009. Retrieved the 21st of March 2009. Siler, Michael, The Mobile Wave, How Mobile Intelligence Will Change Everything. Perseus Books, Vanguard Press PP 81 304.
Holsonel Spike Lee and Nokia team up for film New York Times the 24th of April 2008. Premiere Getty Images the 14th of October 2008. Nokia seizes social internet and amplifies music experience. Nokia Corporation, the 2nd of September 2009. Retrieved the 12th of October 2009. Nokia 7705 Twist launched stateside on Verizon. Nokia Corporation. The 10th of September 2009. Archived from the original on the 12th of September 2009. Retrieved the 11th of October 2009. Nokia launches two new handsets under Asha range. The 9th of August 2012. Volps Joseph. Nokia outs Asha 308 and 309. Deems Series 40 smartphone worthy. And Gadget. Retrieved the 15th of April 2015. Rig Jamie. Nokia unveils the touchscreen Asha 501 with new software platform, we go hands-on. And Gadget, retrieved the 15th of April 2015. Nokia's 808 PureView officially declared as the last Symbian device. And DTV, the 25th of January 2013. Retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. Home of the MAMO community. Tizen. Nokia will not return to Migu even if N9 turns out to be a hit, says Stephen Ellop. GSM Arena Blog Another Nokia, Normandy, Android phone image leaked. Neo Win Hungarian and Finnish Prime Ministers inaugurate Nokia's Factory of the Future in Kamaram. Nokia Corporation, the 5th of May 2000. Archived from the original on September 22, 2007. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nokia Networks takes strong measures to reduce costs, improve profitability and strengthen leadership position. Nokia Corporation. The 10th of April 2003. Archived from the original on May 5, 2008. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia networks to shed 1,800 jobs worldwide. Majority of impact felt in Finland. Helsing in Sanimat, the 11th of April 2003. Archived from the original on the 11th of May 2008.
Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Leiden, John. Nokia Networks Axis 1800 Staff. The Register. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia's Law Wiley TV 1, Mo, the 17th of January 2005 Archived from the original on the 30th of April 2008 Retrieved the 14th of May 2008 Shell appoints Jorma Olala as new chairman. Royal Dutch Shell, the 4th of August, 2005. Retrieved the 22nd of March, 2009. Nokia moves forward with management successional plan. Nokia Corporation, the 1st of August, 2005 Archived from the original on July 10, 2009 Retrieved the 22nd of March, 2009 Nokia to set up a new mobile device factory in Romania Nokia Corporation, the 26th of March 2007 Retrieved the 14th of May 2008 Nokia to open cell phone plant near Cluj Boston.com, Associated Press, the 22nd of March 2007 Archived from the original on the 7th of May 2008. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia to build mobile phone plant in Romania. Helsing in Sanimat, the 27th of March 2007. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. German politicians return cell phones amid Nokia boycott calls. Deutsche Welle, the 18th of January 2008. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. German state demands 60 million euros from Nokia. Der Spiegel, the 11th of March 2008, retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Archived from the original on the 21st of March 2012. Checkpoint completes acquisition of Nokia security appliance business. The 13th of April 2009. Archived from the original on the 16th of April 2009. Retrieved the 13th of April 2009. Nokia will lay off 4,000 and move more manufacturing to Asia, PC World Business Center. PCWorld.com, the 8th of February 2012. Retrieved the 8th of September 2013. Nokia lays off 1,000 employees from Finnish plant will focus on software.
i2mag.com, the 22nd of March, 2012. Retrieved the 8th of September, 2013. Nokia Closing BC Research Center as it cuts 10,000 jobs. CBC News, Associated Press, the 14th of June 2012. Retrieved the 25th of September 2013. Yuri Hanan and Petri Sigjari. Nokia Lubava Henist and Padi Vansuo Mesa. Helsing in Sanamat, retrieved the 18th of January 2013. Nokia completes acquisition of assets of Sega.com Inc. Nokia Corporation, the 22nd of September 2003. Archived from the original on the 5th of February 2008. Retrieved the 16th of March 2009. Nokia to extend leadership in enterprise mobility with acquisition of IntelliSync. Nokia Corporation the 16th of November 2005. Archived from the original on the 10th of July 2009. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nokia completes acquisition of IntelliSync. Nokia Corporation, the 10th of February 2006. Archived from the original on the 4th of December 2008. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nokia and Siemens to merge their communications service provider businesses. Nokia Corporation, the 19th of June 2006. Archived from the original on the 10th of July 2009. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nokia to acquire Loud Eye and launch a comprehensive mobile music experience. Nokia Corporation, the 8th of August 2006. Archived from the original on the 10th of July 2009. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia completes Loud Eye acquisition. Nokia Corporation, the 16th of October 2006. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia acquires Twango to offer a comprehensive media sharing experience. Nokia Corporation, the 24th of July 2007. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia acquires Twango Frequently Asked Questions Nokia Corporation, archived from the original on the 28th of May 2008. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008.
Nokia to acquire in pocket to create a global mobile advertising leader. Nokia Corporation, the 17th of September 2007. Retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia to acquire Navtech. Nokia Corporation, the 1st of October 2007. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nikolai James. Nokia buys mapping service for $8.1 billion. InfoWorld, IDG, retrieved the 14th of May 2008. Nokia completes its acquisition of Navtech. Nokia Corporation, the 10th of July 2008. Retrieved the 22nd of March 2009. Nokia to acquire leading consumer email and instant messaging provider Oz Communications. Tom News, the 30th of September 2008. Archived from the original on March 30th, 2009. Retrieved the 30th of September 2008. Nokia to acquire Sality. Nokia Corporation. The 24th of July, 2009. Retrieved the 4th of August, 2009. Nokia completes acquisition of Celity. Nokia Corporation. The 5th of August, 2009. Retrieved the 6th of August, 2009. Nokia has acquired Plum. Nokia Corporation, the 11th of September, 2009. Retrieved the 28th of January, 2010. Nokia acquires browser firm Navara. Techie Buzz, the 28th of March, 2010. Retrieved the 29th of March, 2010. Nokia acquires Metacarta. Information Week. The 11th of April, 2010. Retrieved the 12th of April, 2010. Jesse Hicks, Nokia buys smarter phone, developer of feature phone operating system. The Verge, Fox Media, Inc. retrieved the 9th of September, 2012. Brogan, Danny, Nokia's smartphone image quality to improve with acquisition of Sclato. Pocket Lint, retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. The Better iPhone, Nokia N95. Skabliza, the 3rd of June 2007. Retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Gardner says worldwide smartphone sales reached its lowest growth rate with 3.7% increase in fourth quarter of 2008. Gardner, the 11th of March 2009.
archived from the original on September 3, 2013. Retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Bray, Jonathan. Nokia E71 Review. Trusted Reviews. Retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Ziegler, Chris. Nokia buys Symbian, turns software over to Symbian Foundation. Engadget, retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Magenis Nile. Nokia E52 Review, Trusted Reviews. Retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Lewis Frank. Nokia E52 Review. Sienna. Retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Schroeder, Stan. Smartphones in 2009, Symbian dominates, iPhone, RIM and Android rising fast. Mashable, retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Android smartphone shipments grew away 186% year on year in Q2 2010. Canalis, the 2nd of August 2010, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Perez, Marin. Sony Ericsson, Audio Symbian, Hello Android. Into Mobile, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Arthur, Charles. Nokia N8 Smartphone Review, like hardware? You'll love this, like software? Ah, uh, The Guardian, retrieved the 3rd of September, 2013. Switcher, ACMCO. The 22nd of July, 2013. Retrieved the 8th of September, 2013. Nokia N8 sales nearing 4 million units. GSMarena.com Retrieved the 8th of September, 2013. Intel and Nokia merge Moblind and Mamo to form Migo. TechRadar, retrieved the 23rd of November 2014. Intel, Migo exists because Microsoft let us down. TechRadar, the 20th of April 2010, archived from the original on the 23rd of April 2010. Retrieved the 23rd of November 2014, Nokia and Microsoft Firm Partnership. BBC, the 11th of February 2011. Retrieved the 12th of February, 2011. Weintraub, Seth, Nokia, Zelop drops bomb. The platform is on fire. Fortune, archived from the original on the 27th of June, 2013. 
Retrieved the 14th of June 2013. John Michael Microsoft denounces Lumia. Cells, cells, archived from the original on the 13th of November 2014. Retrieved the 13th of November 2014. Capitulation, Nokia adopts Windows Phone 7. Ours Technica, the 11th of February 2011. Retrieved the 12th of February 2011. Gartner says sales of mobile devices in second quarter of 2011 grew 16.5% year-on-year. Smartphone sales grew 74%. Gartner, the 11th of August 2011. Archived from the original on August 12, 2011. Retrieved the 29th of September 2011. Ward, Andrew. Apple overtakes Nokia in smartphone stakes. Financial Times. Retrieved the 21st of July 2011. Recent smartphone shipments show gainers and amp losers. Retrieved the 22nd of August 2012. Nokia to cut 3,500 jobs worldwide to shut Romania factory. The 29th of September 2011. Nokia Lumia 710 Hands On. And Gadget. Retrieved the 8th of November 2012. Tour. Amar. Nokia announces the Lumia 800. And Gadget. Retrieved the 13th of November 2012. Ben Aaron, Diana. Nokia falls most since July 2009 after Microsoft deal. Bloomberg, Lumia, is the light visible? Asimco. Horus Dedio, the 18th of April 2013. Retrieved the 21st of July 2013. Gartner says Asia, Pacific led worldwide mobile phone sales to growth in first quarter of 2013. Gartner Gardner, Inc. The 14th of May 2013. Archived from the original on June 15th, 2013. Retrieved the 21st of July 2013. Nokia Q4 2011 net sales 10 billion euros non IFRS up 0.06 Nokia 2011 net sales 38.7 billion euros non IFRS up 29 euro cents. Nokia, the 26th of January 2012. Archived from the original on the 1st of June 2013. Retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. Constantinescu, Stefan.
Nokia Q4 2011 Financial Results Over 1 million Lumia Windows phones sold to date. Into Mobile, archived from the original on the 12th of January 2015. Retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. Cooper, Daniel. Nokia 2 million Lumia phone sold in Q1 but profit still falling. And Gadget, AOL, retrieved the 2nd of June 2012. Nokia ships 4 million Lumias in Q2 2012, over 7 million to date. Nokia's fight for it an empty shelf space shows hurdle for Lumia. Bloomberg News Android smartphone share quadruples iOS in Q2. Nokia's Lumia phones to show group on offers on maps. BBC, the 2nd of August 2012. Nokia links up with a group on to promote deals on phone maps. Reuters, the 2nd of August 2012. Retrieved the 27th of September 2018. Moen, Arild. Nokia to cut 4,000 jobs. The Wall Street Journal. Nokia to cut 10,000 jobs, shut units. The Hindu, the 14th of June 2012. Ben Aaron, Diana. Nokia to cut 10,000 jobs as Zelab tries to staunch losses. Bloomberg, Nokia downgraded to junk, Zax.com. The 18th of June 2012, archived from the original on the 11th of May 2013. Retrieved the 8th of September 2013, Risinger, Don. Nokia, execs hit with class action suit over disappointing Lumia sales, mobile, CNET News. News.cnet.com, retrieved the 8th of September 2013. Nokia Finnish investors considering gathering signatures to get CEO well upsacked. Phonarena.com retrieved the 8th of September 2013. Struggling Nokia sells HQ.3 News NZ. The 5th of December 2012, archived from the original on the 13th of July 2014. Retrieved the 29th of June 2015, Nokia Corporation Q4 and Full Year 2012 Interim Report. Archived from the original on the 13th of December 2013. Retrieved the 29th of June 2015. Savoflad, 
Nokia hedges its commitment to Windows Phone with new Asha platform a $99 phone. The Verge Retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. Einhorn, Bruce. Nokia deal is just the beginning for China Mobile. Business Week. Retrieved the 22nd of June 2013. Charles Arthur Nokia revenues slide 24% but Lumia sales rise offers hope. The Guardian retrieved the 19th of July 2013. Tom Warren Nokia Lumia Sales Q2 2013 The Verge Retrieved the 8th of September 2013 Microsoft buys Nokia's Devices and Services Unit Unites Windows Phone 8 and its Hardware Maker The Verge, Fox Media, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Evid Shira, Microsoft in $7.17 billion deal for Nokia cell phone business. Wall Street Journal, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. The next chapter, an open letter from Steve Ballmer and Stephen Ellop. The official Microsoft blog, archived from the original on the 4th of September 2013. Retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Jones, Chuck. The market essentially forced Microsoft to buy Nokia. Forbes, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Nokia next Pomo and Z Van Jokey, happily stumped advice to Autonta. Helsing in Santa Mad. Retrieved the 4th of September 2013. Trenheim, Rich. Microsoft closes Nokia deal pays more than expected. CNA.com. Retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Nokia phone unit to be renamed Microsoft Mobile. The Daily Telegraph, retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Nokia says its sale to Microsoft will close on April 25th. The Verge Retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Nokia to exclude India plant from Microsoft deal over tax issues. Bloomberg Business Week. Retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Microsoft's purchase of Nokia is still set to close by the end of March. The Verge, retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Nokia Indian plant unlikely to be part of Microsoft phone deal.
Wall Street Journal, retrieved the 25th of April 2014. Leaked Microsoft document tips details of Nokia brand transition and more. NDTV, retrieved the 15th of June 2014. There will never be another Nokia smartphone. The Verge, retrieved the 3rd of September 2013. Leak reveals when Microsoft must kill Nokia brand. PC Pro, retrieved the 15th of June 2014. Microsoft Lumia will replace the Nokia brand. The Verge Retrieved the 21st of October 2014. 2. Janet I. Microsoft layoff signal a changing culture. The cuts are partly related to Microsoft's acquisition of Nokia's phone business and partly a reflection of Nadella's vision of a Microsoft that's less management-heavy and more agile. The Seattle Times, the 17th of July 2014 Microsoft to slash 18,000 jobs in deepest cuts in tech giants' history. The Guardian, the 17th of July 2014. Retrieved the 18th of July 2014. Microsoft is killing off Nokia's feature phones in favor of Windows Phone. The Verge, the 17th of July 2014, retrieved the 17th of July 2014. Nokia, China Mobile, signed $970 million framework deal. Reuters, the 10th of October 2014. Nokia looks to resurrect its valuable brand on future devices. The Verge. Retrieved the 18th of November 2014. Nokia's first device after Microsoft is an iPad mini clone that runs Android. The Verge. Retrieved the 18th of November 2014. This is the new Nokia. The Verge. Retrieved the 23rd of November 2014. Schechner, Sam. Nokia is in talks to buy Alcatel Lucent. The Wall Street Journal. Retrieved the 14th of April 2015. Byford, Sam. Nokia agrees to buy Alcatel Lucent for $16.6 billion. The Verge, retrieved the 15th of April 2015. Nokia and Alcatel Lucent to combine to create an innovation leader in next generation technology and services for an IP connected world. Releases Nokia Archived from the original on the 16th of April 2015. Retrieved the 15th of April 2015. 
Zachariah, Simon, Knudsen, Brian. Merger of Nokia with Alcatel loosened could put pressure on prices. The Wall Street Journal, Dow Jones and Amp Company. Retrieved the 15th of April 2015. Daniel Thomas, Financial Times. Nokia Alcatel Lucent Deal wins approval of Chinese regulator. October 19, 2015. October 19, 2015. Alcatel's strategic undersea cables unit to be swallowed by Nokia. Reuters, the 7th of October 2015. Retrieved the 20th of November 2015. Nokia sells here maps business to car makers Audi, BMW, and Daimler. Sienna, CBS Interactive, retrieved the 3rd of August 2015. Microsoft sells Nokia brand to Foxconn and HMD Global Slash Gear website. Nokia signs etc. Nokia website the 18th of May 2016. HMD Global Nokia Smartphone Gadgets NDTV website. Smythe Chris, this is Nokia's first Android-based iPhone 7 rival. BGR, retrieved the 15th of December 2017. Nokia 6, Nokia 5, Nokia 3 and Nokia 3310 price details revealed ahead of June launch. The 9th of May 2017. Retrieved the 15th of December 2017.
Public Company, Incorporated, 1865. Employees, 55,505. Sales, year 29.26 billion. Stock Exchanges, New York, Helsinki, Stockholm, Frankfurt. Ticker symbol, NAC, NAIC, 334,210 Telephone Apparatus Manufacturing, 334,220 Radio and Television Broadcasting and Wireless Communications Equipment Manufacturing, 334,310 Audio and Video Equipment Manufacturing, Manufacturing 334,419 Other Electronic Component Manufacturing 517,212 Cellular and Other Wireless Telecommunications 517,910 Other Telecommunications 551,112 Offices of other holding companies. Nokia Corporation is the world's largest manufacturer of mobile phones, serving customers in 130 countries. Nokia is divided into four business groups, mobile phones, multimedia, enterprise solutions, and networks. The mobile phones group markets wireless voice and data products in consumer and corporate markets. The multimedia segment sells mobile gaming devices, home satellite systems, and cable television set-top boxes. The Enterprise Solutions Group develops wireless systems for use in the corporate sector. Wireless switching and transmission equipment is sold through the company's networks division. Nokia operates 15 manufacturing facilities in 9 countries and maintains research and development facilities in 12 countries. Nineteenth century origins. Originally a manufacturer of pulp and paper, Nokia was founded as Nokia Company in 1865 in a small town of the same name in central Finland. Nokia was a pioneer in the industry and introduced many new production methods to a country with only one major natural resource, its vast forests.
As the industry became increasingly energy intensive the company even constructed its own power plants. But for many years, Nokia remained an important yet static firm in a relatively forgotten corner of Northern Europe. Nokia shares were first listed on the Helsinki Exchange in 1915. The first major changes in Nokia occurred several years after World War II. Despite its proximity to the Soviet Union, Finland has always remained economically connected with Scandinavian and other Western countries. And as Finnish trade expanded, Nokia became a leading exporter. During the early 1960s, Nokia began to diversify in an attempt to transform the company into a regional conglomerate with interests beyond Finnish borders. Unable to initiate strong internal growth, Nokia turned its attention to acquisitions. The government, however, hoping to rationalize two underperforming basic industries, favored Nokia's expansion within the country and encouraged its eventual merger with Finnish Rubber Works. which was founded in 1898, and Finnish Cable Works, which was formed in 1912 to form Nokia Corporation. When the amalgamation was completed in 1966, Nokia was involved in several new industries, including integrated cable operations, electronics, tires, and rubber footwear. And had made its first public share offering. In 1967, Nokia set up a division to develop design and manufacturing capabilities in data processing, industrial automation, and communications systems. The division was later expanded and made into several divisions which then concentrated on developing information systems, including personal computers and workstations. Digital communications systems and mobile phones. Nokia also gained a strong position in modems and automatic banking systems in Scandinavia.
Financial Crisis, Corporate Changes, 1970s Nokia continued to operate in a stable but parochial manner until 1973, when it was affected in a unique way by the oil crisis. Years of political accommodation between Finland and the Soviet Union ensured Finnish neutrality in exchange for lucrative trade agreements with the Soviets. Mainly Finnish lumber products and machinery in exchange for Soviet oil. By agreement, this trade was kept strictly in balance. But when world oil prices began to rise, the market price for Soviet oil rose with it. Balanced trade began to mean greatly reduced purchasing power for Finnish companies such as Nokia. Although the effects were not catastrophic, the oil crisis did force Nokia to reassess its reliance on Soviet trade as well as its international growth strategies. Several contingency plans were drawn up, but the greatest changes came after the company appointed a new CEO, Kerry Kairamo, in 1975. Kairamo noted the obvious, Nokia was too big for Finland. The company had to expand abroad. He studied the expansion of other Scandinavian companies and, following their example, formulated a strategy of first consolidating the company's business in Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, and then moving gradually into the rest of Europe. After the company had improved its product line, established a reputation for quality, and adjusted its production capacity, it would enter the world market. Meanwhile, Nokia's traditional, heavy industries were looking increasingly burdensome. It was feared that trying to become a leader in electronics while maintaining these basic industries would create an unmanageably unfocused company. Kairamo thought briefly about selling off the company's weaker divisions but decided to retain and modernize them. He reasoned that, although the modernization of these low-growth industries would be very expensive, it would guarantee Nokia's position in several stable markets, including paper chemical and machinery productions and electrical generation. For the scheme to be practical, each division's modernization would have to be gradual and individually financed. This would prevent the bleeding of funds away from the all-important effort in electronics while preventing the heavy industries from becoming any less profitable. 
With each division financing its own modernization, there was little or no drain on capital from other divisions, and Nokia could still sell any group that did not succeed under the new plan. In the end, the plan prompted the machinery division to begin development in robotics and automation, the cables division to begin work on fiber optics, and the forestry division to move into high-grade tissues. Rise of Electronics 1980S Nokia's most important focus was development of the electronic sector. Over the course of the 1980s, the firm acquired nearly 20 companies, focusing especially on three segments of the electronics industry, consumer, workstations, and mobile communications. Electronics grew from 10% of annual sales to 60% of revenues from 1980 to 1988. Company Perspectives By connecting people, we help fulfill a fundamental human need for social connections and contact. Nokia builds bridges between people, both when they are far apart and face-to-face -face, and also bridges the gap between people and the information they need. In late 1984 Nokia acquired Solora, the largest color television manufacturer in Scandinavia, and Luxor, the Swedish state-owned electronics and computer firm. Nokia combined Solora and Luxor into a single division and concentrated on stylish consumer electronic products, since style was a crucial factor in Scandinavian markets. The Solora Luxor division was also very successful in satellite and digital television technology. Nokia purchased the consumer electronics operations of Standard Electric Lorenz AG from Alcatel in 1987. further bolstering the company's position in the television market to the third largest manufacturer in Europe. In early 1988 Nokia acquired the Data Systems division of the Swedish Ericsson Group, making Nokia the largest Scandinavian information technology business.
Although a market leader in Scandinavia, Nokia still lacked a degree of competitiveness in the European market which was dominated by much larger Japanese and German companies. Kairamo decided, therefore, to follow the example of many Japanese companies during the 1960s and negotiate to become an original equipment manufacturer. Or OEM, to manufacture products for competitors as a subcontractor. Nokia manufactured items for Hitachi in France, Ericsson in Sweden, Northern Telecom in Canada, and Granada and IBM in Britain. In doing so, it was able to increase its production capacity stability. There were, however, several risks involved, those inherent in any OEM arrangement. Nokia's sales margins were naturally reduced but of greater concern, production capacity was built up without a commensurate expansion in the sales network. With little brand identification, Nokia feared it might have a difficult time selling under its own name and become trapped as an OEM. In 1986 Nokia reorganized its management structure to simplify reporting efforts and improve control by central management. The company's 11 divisions were grouped into four industry segments, electronics, cables and machinery, paper power, and chemicals, and rubber and flooring. In addition, Nokia won a concession from the Finnish government to allow greater foreign participation in ownership. This substantially reduced Nokia's dependence on the comparatively expensive Finnish lending market. Although there was growth throughout the company, Nokia's greatest success was in telecommunications. Having dabbled in telecommunications in the 1960s, Nokia cut its teeth in the industry by selling switching systems under license from a French company, Alcatel. The Finnish firm got in on the cellular industry's ground floor in the late 1970s when it helped design the world's first international cellular system. Named the Nordic Mobile Telephone Network, the system linked Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. A year after the network came online in 1981, Nokia gained 100% control of Mobira. The Finnish mobile phone company that would later become its key business interest is the Nokia Mobile Phones division. Mobira's regional sales were vastly improved, but Nokia was still limited to OEM production on the international market. Nokia and Tandy Corporation of the United States built a factory in Mawson, South Korea to manufacture mobile telephones.
These were sold under the Tandy name in that company's 6,000 Radio Shack stores throughout the United States. In 1986, eager to test its ability to compete openly, Nokia chose the mobile telephone to be the first product marketed internationally under the Nokia name. It became Nokia's make-or-break product. Unfortunately, Asian competitors began to drive prices down just as Nokia entered the market. Other Nokia products gaining recognition were Solora televisions and Luxor satellite dishes, which suffered briefly when subscription programming introduced broadcast scrambling. Key dates. 1865, Nokia is founded as a maker of pulp and paper. 1898, Finnish Rubber Works is founded. 1912, Finnish Cable Works is formed. 1915, Nokia shares are first listed on the Helsinki Exchange. 1967, Nokia merges with Finnish Rubber Works and Finnish Cable Works to form Nokia Corporation. 1979, Mobiro is formed as a mobile phone company. 1981, the first international cellular system, the Nordic Mobile Telephone Network, comes online, having been developed with the help of Nokia. 1982, Nokia acquires Mobira, which later becomes the Nokia Mobile Phones Division. 1986. Company markets internationally the first Nokia mobile telephone. 1993. The first Nokia digital cellular phone hits the market. 1998. Nokia surpasses Motorola as the world's number one maker of mobile phones. 2002, Nokia introduces the first third-generation compliant mobile phone. 2005, Jormel announces he will step down as Chief Executive Officer in 2006.
The company's expansion, achieved almost exclusively by acquisition, had been expensive. Few Finnish investors other Few Finnish investors other than institutions had the patience to see Nokia through its long-term plans. Indeed, more than half of the new shares issued by Nokia in 1987 went to foreign investors. Nokia moved boldly into Western markets, it gained a listing on the London Exchange in 1987 and was subsequently listed on the New York Exchange. Crises of leadership profitability in the late 1980s and early 1990s Nokia's rapid growth was not without a price. In 1988, as revenues soared, the company's profits, under pressure from severe price competition in the consumer electronics markets, dropped. Chairman Kerry Kairamo committed suicide in December of that year. Not surprisingly, friends said it was brought on by stress. CMOS Vuoroletto took over the company's reins and began streamlining operations in the spring of 1988. Nokia was divided into six business groups Consumer Electronics Data, Mobile Phones, Telecommunications, Cables and Machinery, and Basic Industries. Vuoroletto continued Kairamo's focus on high-tech divisions, divesting Nokia's flooring, paper, rubber and ventilation systems businesses and entering into joint ventures with companies such as Tandy Corporation and Matra of France two separate agreements to produce mobile phones for the U.S. and French markets. In spite of these efforts, Nokia's pre-tax profits continued to decline in 1989 and 1990, culminating in a loss of $102 million in 1991. Industry observers blamed cutthroat European competition, the breakdown of the Finnish banking system, and the collapse of the Soviet Union. But, notwithstanding these difficulties, Nokia remained committed to its high-tech orientation. Late in 1991, the company strengthened that dedication by promoting Dorma Olala from president of Nokia Mobir Inc. to group president.
leading the telecommunications revolution MID1990S and beyond. Forbes S. Fleming Meeks credited Olila with transforming Nokia from a money-losing hodgepodge of companies into one of telecommunications' most profitable companies. Unable to find a buyer for Nokia's consumer electronics business which had lost nearly $1 billion from 1988 to 1993, Ola cut that segment's workforce by 45% shuttered plants. And centralized operations. Having divested Nokia data in 1991, Nokia focused further on its telecommunications core by selling off its power unit in 1994 and its television and tire and cable units the following year. The new leader achieved success in the cellular phone segment by bringing innovative products to market quickly with a particular focus on ever smaller and easier to use phones featuring sleek. Finish Design Nokia gained a leg up in cell phone research and development with the 1991 acquisition of the United Kingdom's Technophone Limited for $57 million. The company began selling digital cellular phones in 1993. Olila's tenure brought Nokia success and with it global recognition. The company's sales more than doubled from FIM 15.5 billion in 1991 to FIM 36.8 billion in 1995 and its bottom line rebounded from a net loss of FIM $723 million in 1992 to a FIM $2.2 billion profit in 1995. Securities investors did not miss the turnaround. Nokia's market capitalization multiplied 10 times from 1991 to 1994. In late 1995 and early 1996, Nokia suffered a temporary setback stemming from a shortage of chips for its digital cellular phones and a resultant disruption of its logistics chain. The company's production costs rose and profits fell. Nokia was also slightly ahead of the market particularly in North America in regard to the shift from analog to digital phones. As a result, it was settled with a great number of digital phones it could not sell and an insufficient number of analog devices. Nevertheless, Nokia had positioned itself well for the long haul, and within just a year or two it was arch-rival Motorola, Inc. that was burdened with an abundance of phones it could not sell. Analog ones, as Motorola was slow to convert to digital. 
As a result, by late 1998 Nokia had surpassed Motorola and claimed the top position in cellular phones worldwide. Aiding this surge was the November 1997 introduction of the 6100 series of digital phones. This line proved immensely popular because of the phone's small size, lightweight, and superior battery life. First introduced in the burgeoning mobile phone market in China, the 6100 soon became a worldwide phenomenon. Including the 6100 and other models, Nokia sold nearly 41 million cellular phones in 1998. Net sales increased more than 50% over the previous year, jumping from FIM 52.61 billion to FIM 79.23 billion. Operating profits increased by 75% while the company's skyrocketing stock price shot up more than 220%. Pushing Nokia's market capitalization from FIM 110.01 billion to FIM 355.53 billion. Not content with conquering the mobile phone market, Nokia began aggressively pursuing the mobile internet sector in the late 1990s. Already on the market was the Nokia 9000 communicator, a personal all-in-one communication device that included phone, data, internet, email, and fax retrieval services. The Nokia 8110 mobile phone included the capability to access the Internet. In addition, Nokia was the first company to introduce a cellular phone that could be connected to a laptop computer to transmit data over a mobile network. To help develop further products, Nokia began acquiring internet technology companies, starting with a December 1997 $120 million purchase of Ypsilon Networks Inc. A Silicon Valley firm specializing in internet routing. One year later, Nokia spent FIM $429 million for Vienna Systems Corporation, a Canadian firm focusing on Internet Protocol telephony. Acquisitions continued in 1999, when a further seven deals were completed, four of which were internet-related. Meanwhile, net sales increased a further 48% in 1999, while operating profits grew by 57%. Riding the late 1990s high-tech stock boom, the market capitalization of Nokia took another huge leap, ending the year 209.37 billion euros. 
Nokia's share of the global cellular phone market increased from 22.5% in 1998 to 26.9% in 1999 as the company sold 76.3 million phones in 1999. Nokia's ascendance to the top of the wireless world by the end of the 1990s could be traced to the company being able to consistently, over and over again, come out with high-margin products superior to those of its competitors and in tune with market demands. The continuation of this trend into the 21st century was by no means certain as the increasing convergence of wireless and internet technologies and the development of the third generation of Wireless technology were predicted to open Nokia up to new and formidable Competitors, perhaps the greatest threat was that chip makers such as Intel would turn mobile phones into commodities just as they had previously done with personal computers. The days of the $500 Nokia phone were potentially numbered. Nevertheless, Nokia's 25% profit margins were enabling it to spend a massive $2 billion a year on research and development and continue to churn out innovative new products. Concentrating on the various standards being developed for 3G wireless networks. A two-pronged approach in the 21st century. Mobile communications developed along two broad fronts during the first years of the century, both of which played to Nokia's advantage, ensuring that the company remained the leader of its industry. The evolution of handsets into multimedia devices ushered in by 3G technology meant that Nokia could continue to rely on marketing expensive, sophisticated handsets. The days of the $500 Nokia phone gave way to the days of increasingly more expensive phones such as the Nokia N90, a unit featuring a camera with Carl Zeiss Optics video recording capabilities and internet access. Nokia could count on a substantial share of the high end of the market, a segment that continued to thrive midway through the decade. But the company's greatest strength was in the lower end of the market.
In countries such as China, Brazil and India there was a tremendous demand for inexpensive mobile phones. With analysts expecting 50% of the 1 billion handsets sold between 2005 and 2010 to be sold in developing economies. Industry observers believed there were only two companies in the world that could seriously compete for the estimated 800 million unit per year market for inexpensive handsets Motorola and Nokia. Rivals such as Samsung, Sony Ericsson, and LG Electronics preferred to confine their activities to the high end of the market. While emerging low-cost producers lacked the manufacturing efficiencies enjoyed by Nokia and Motorola, Against the backdrop of favorable market trends supporting Nokia's entrenched position, the company experienced a rare event in its modern history, a change in leadership. After a decade and a half at the helm, CEO Olila announced his retirement, effective June 2006. His replacement was a 25-year Nokia veteran named Olipeka Kalisvo, a lawyer by training whom fortune in the magazine's October 31, 2005 issue. Described as so taciturn that he can seem like an extra from an Ingmar Bergman movie. Kalisvo, who was promoted from his position as the head of the handset division, inherited an impressively capable company whose greatest challenge was contending with Motorola for the low end of the market and beating back competitors for control of the high end of the market. Nokia is a dynamic company in a fast-changing and fluid environment, Kalisvo said in a November 29, 2005 interview with the South China Morning Post. I look forward to working together with our team to help Nokia shape the future of mobile communications at a pivotal time for the industry. Principal Subsidiaries Nokia Holding Inc. Nokia Products Limited Nokia IP Telephony Corporation Nokia Telecommunications Inc. Nokia Inc. Nokia Investment Company Limited
Nokia Limited, Nokia Limited, Nokia Australia Thai Limited, Nokia Asset Management OI, Nokia Austria GmbH, Nokia Denmark AS, Nokia do Brazil Limited A. Nokia do Brazil Technologia Limited A. Nokia Finance International BV, Nokia France, Nokia GmbH, Nokia India Private Limited, Nokia Italia Spa, Nokia Korea Limited, Nokia Mobile Phones. Nokia Networks, Nokia Norjaz, Nokia OYJ, Nokia Private Limited, Nokia Spain, SA, Nokia Svenska AB, Nokia UK Limited, Nokia Ventures Organization, Bave Tardum. Beijing Nokia Hangxing Telecommunication Systems Company Limited Dr. Tel Assistentia de Telecommunicas SA Fundao Nokia de Ancino Instituto Nokia de Tecnología, Nokia SDNBHD, Nokia Argentina SA, Nokia Belgium NV, Nokia Capital Telecommunications Limited, Nokia Ecuador SA. Nokia Hellas Communications SA, Nokia Hungary Communications Korla Toltfel Elisegu Tarsasig, Nokia Israel Limited, Nokia Middle East. Nokia Poland SPZOO, Nokia Portugal SA, Nokia Private Joint Stock Company, Nokia Research Center, Nokia River Golf Ribe, Nokia SA, Nokia Servicios SA de CV. Nokia Technology GmbH, Nokia Invertoi, Oi Scan Enter Nokia Limited, Point O Nokia Oi. Updated April D. Gaspar, David E. Salami, Jeffrey L. Coval. Further reading, Angel, Mike, Nokia Banking on New Phone Features, Cameras, Email Access, Investors Business Daily, December 3, 2002, page 7. Baker, Stephen and Carrie Coppell, The Race to Rule Mobile, Business Week, February 21, 2000, pp 58-60. 
Baker, Stephen, Rogero Crockett, and Neil Gross, Nokia, can CEO Olila keep the cellular superstar flying high? Business Week, August 10, 1998, pp. 54-60. Bellaby, Mara D. Nokia acquires IntelliSync, America's Intelligence Wire, November 17, 2005. Benzinger, Ari, The Call on Nokia, Business Week Online, January 7, 2003. Berkman, Barbara N., Brainstorming in the Sauna, Electronic Business, November 18, 1991, pp. 71-74. Sagging Profits Spark Identity Crisis at Nokia, Electronic Business, March 4, 1991, pp. 57-59. Bert Tim and Greg McIver, Land of Midnight Mobiles. A former toilet paper maker from Finland has become the world's largest manufacturer of mobile phones. Financial Times, October 30, 1998, page 18. Edmondson, Gale, Peter Alstrom, and Peter Burroughs at Nokia, a comeback, and then some, Business Week, December 2, 1996, page 106. Fox Justin, Nokia's Secret Code, Fortune, May 1, 2000, pp 161-64 plus. Furch got Roy, Nokia signals desire for higher profile, Ad Week Eastern Edition, June 12, 1995, page 2. Guth, Robert A. Nokia fights for toehold in Japan cell phone market Wall Street Journal, June 26, 2000, page 826. Heard, Joyce, and Keller, John J. Nokia skates into high-tech's big leagues business week, April 4, 1988, pp. 100-203. Jacob, Rahul, Nokia fumbles, but don't count it out, Fortune, February 19, 1996, pp. 86-88. Karif, Olga, will new phones boost Nokia's signal? Business Week Online, December 11, 2002. La Rosa, James Jr., Nokia knocks on U.S. door, HFD The Weekly Home Furnishings Newspaper, February 10, 1992, pp. 66-67. Lumola, Tarmo, and Ray Mulovio, Mixi Nokia, Finland, Parvo, Sweden, W. Suderstrom, 1996-211-P. Lineback, J. Robert, Nokia's mobile phone unit is ringing bells, electronic business buyer, June 1994, pp. 60-62.
meets Fleming. Watch out, Motorola. Forbes, September 12, 1994, PP 192-94. Nokia and Comtelephone expand broadband in the Pacific PR Newswire, December 28, 2005. Nokia expands production in China Telecom Web News Digest, December 1, 2005 Nokia launches new 3G phones e-week, December 1, 2005 Not finished yet, The Economist, February 9, 1991, page 73. Perez Bien, Nokia adapts to swift changes, South China Morning Post, November 29, 2005. Reinhardt, Andy, Cell Phones for the People, Business Week, November 7, 2005, page 26. A Whole New Wireless Order, Business Week, October 31, 2005, page 2, Maltese Liras. Salame, Assad, Nokia repositions for a major cellular marketing initiative Telecommunications, June 1992, page 43. Schwartz, Nelson D., the man behind Nokia's comeback, Fortune, October 31, 2005, page 39. Safer, Jesse, Nokia to acquire IntelliSync, San Jose Mercury News, November 17, 2005. Silberg, Lurry, a brand apart, HFD The Weekly Home Furnishings Newspaper, September 5, 1994, PP 54-55. These sexy gadgets will rock next year, Economic Times of India, December 20, 2005. Williams, Elaine, 100-year-old Nokia experiences fast growth pains, a 